Hey everyone, I'm Hyejin Yoon from the Devil team in Acryl. Today I'm going to talk about the ingestion transformers and its main use cases. So here's a quick overview. I'm going to briefly explain about what is the ingestion transformer, how does it work, and introduce some um, main use cases. Okay, so what is the ingestion transformers? Some of you may already be familiar with this, some of you may not. So let's say this is a very basic flow of the metadata ingestion in Data Hub. The data comes from the data sources and goes to sync. Uh, most of the time, um, the sync will be the data of instance. So oftentimes, you might want to modify metadata before it reaches the sync. For example, you might want to add some tags, ownerships, properties, set some customized route path, etc. Using transformer is the easiest way to do this without um, modifying the ingestion framework code. So how does it work? How do we configure the transformer. Um, transformers are defined in the recipe.yaml file, like sources and sinks. All you need to do is define its name and some configs along with it. So this is a quick overview of our provided transformer names. So you can add glossary terms, tags, domains, ownerships, properties, and mark some data sets data set status um, or set data set broad path. And it's also possible to define your customized transformer. So there's a lot of flexibility. So let me introduce some of the main use cases here to help you understand how to utilize the transformer with Data Hub. Let's say you have a recurring ingestion pipeline comes from um, a My MySQL database. You might want to customize the broad path for the data set in a certain ingestion, right? You might want to create a directory called production or marketing DB, et cetera, for a um, better discovery or better understanding of the data. In this case, you can use set data set browse path transformers in our ingestion framework that lets you customize the broad path. You can either use a certain variables like env, platform, data set parts, or you can just define the static path for yourself. Let's say you have a, a MySQL table called sales at orders. If you set path templates like this and platform data set parts, um, this will set the path like prod MySQL sales orders. So prod being env, MySQL being the platform, and sales slash orders being the data set parts. Or you can set static path templates as well, like below. So platform, marketing, DB, and data set parts. This will set the path like MySQL, build platform, marketing, DB being the static path, and sales order being the data set parts. Um, and the next transformer I'm going to explain is um, tagging. So there are multiple ways of tagging data set using the transformers. And this is the simplest one called simple add data set tags. This will just add um, these tags to all the data set entities for a certain ingestion run. You can see there's just a um, tag URNs under config. So there's um, not much very complicated um, configs here. And let's say you want to define a pattern in the tagging process. In this case, you can use pattern add dataset tags where you can match the regex pattern to URN of the dataset and assign the respective tags. Let's say you want to add um, need docs tag to the data set with the name that contains example one and example two. And you want to add legacy tags that um, to the data set that contains the example one. And you can define the tag patterns and rules under config with the regex um, for the URN of the data set like this. 
And last but not least, you can always customize the transformer. You can either call your customized function in the provided transformer, or you can build a transformer from scratch. I'm not going to go deep here, but I'll introduce the basic concept. So let's say that you'd like to add more complex logic um, for assigning tags than just simple add or pattern add tags. In this case, you can use um, the more generic transformer called add dataset tags and call your call your um, customized function under under the config. So. And then you can define your functions to return the list of tags with your customized logic and then install and use your custom customized transformer. So transformers let you modify the metadata without requiring much knowledge of the industrial framework. And at the same time, it has a lot of flexibilities. So hope this helps and see you later.